Hey guys, today it is Saturday, yes I got the day right today, and packing shenanigans have begun. So, the room is like a state right now. The sun is shining, and so I actually opened my window today, but yeah, feel that freshness, can you feel that? Yes, I know you can feel that. So the room is like pretty much a state right now because the packing has begun. I get into a really bad habit every time I pack of making the boxes far too heavy and my dad gets super annoyed. Sorry dad! What tea is it? I Emily know. brought me tea. <gasps> Mango strawberry! Ah! My favourite! It's a tea. infusion. It's not a tea. I don't drink tea. Do you like what clothes I'm wearing today? These are Emily's. How do you feel about that? Um... Okay. <laughs> to be honest with you, she didn't have much choice because she was half asleep in bed and I just came in like, I need some clothes! I literally didn't care. And she was like, just like wear anything. 15 minutes to pick that. Like, I was like, you could have picked like an amazing outfit out of that wardrobe. Because I didn't want to wear some of your nice, nice clothes, but then I was like, I want right. something casual. No. <laughs> I just almost burnt myself. It rained on Tuesday And I thought of you The sun shining on the Thursday thought about you then too Emily Minnie came to join me with the packing look Oh. Like you come here a minute please Okay 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 no. It don't matter when don't matter why Every day and night Baby all the time You're in my heart You're on my mind I don't even try You are the one I love This is what you call makeshift cycling gear. Look at it, dude! Do you want to show my outfit? Emily's top and Emily's sports bra and Emily's three quarters and stripy socks. Weird. <laughs> Very. Hey, hey. That was a good cycle, yeah? Yeah, that was good. And that yeah. was like the last cycle together for yeah. a long time till like when it's really cold yeah i know i'll come back and then i'll we'll cycle and it'll be like whoa mm -hmm. it's cold for like eight weeks are you I gonna know. miss me be a neurocycle yeah, buddy dude what are you saying yes and my other bike yeah when i go back <laughs> my other bike is gonna feel so hard to ride compared to this thing my avail my baby how sexy this is i need my helmet start don't i no, she says. She wants me to stay at home. Obviously. It's the last time of having these bad boys. These oven roasted chips that I love. I just basically write down in a very neat way, let's say, all of the stuff that I still need to pack and still need to get. So this isn't actually titled right, but oh well. So yeah, I just cross things off as I go. I, I put in my iPod and uh, this is food. Mom and I are going to do a last minute shop. We're going to go out in a minute and fridge and freezer. Mom sorted those out. Well, I'm going to go do supplements now. These little things, you can't really see what they are. Let's bring them out here. Um, we got them the other day because they were reduced and I was like, hey, why don't we try these, mom? So they're called syphilis. Oh, syphilis, yeah. I think that's how you say it anyways. They're the, literally the craziest fruit I have ever seen. They're not horrible. They're really, really nice to eat. I say this strange because 
I literally cannot work out what they taste like. It's like the texture of a tomato. I've established that. But then they're, they're kind of sweet. Some of them are a bit more sour. They're almost like a taste a bit like an orange. They are literally the most peculiar fruit I have ever tried in the UK. They look like this inside. See what I mean? It looks like a tomato. Strange. Very strange. But I really like them. But yeah, other than the crazy fruits that I'm trying, today and yesterday were basically days dedicated to packing my stuff. My fridge and freezer have been cleaned very kindly by mum. And then I'm just sort of like organizing and gathering all my stuff. I'm like, yeah, I don't have that much. When in reality, I do. Yeah, I still have stuff up here, here as well. And we have to put it on the car. So I think I'm gonna try and do that now. The list is going well. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Bye, <laughs> Bye. Bye. What time is it? Ten past eight. Ten past eight. And we're driving. Good morning, guys. It's Monday today. And yes, I'm in kind of a different set up basically i've just woken up this morning and i've basically just been sorting out my stuff so this morning i'm trying to put up my fairy lights here and these things are such a nightmare to do especially on your own it's not doing too bad <sighs> and the salad tape sticks to itself how are we looking going quite well today and um in case you're wondering yes i'm still in my pjs because i have not yet got dressed because I was comfier in my PJs this morning. I think everyone can relate. That to me does not look too bad at all. And it's just this one. We're a bit too far over this way, but I'm not redoing that. And then I will just blue tack this around the corner there so it just stays hidden and... No! Oh my gosh close call imagine that oh yeah sellotape isn't the strongest of materials to be using here but it's what we've got to work with look at this just look how ugly these notices are i'm gonna take it down because this board just needs to be cleared so i can do my own thing on it. Housekeeping, I promise you I will put them back up. Don't want to incur any detriment charges. <laughs> I want minimalist style people and this is not minimalist. Mm. I hate these push things. Just walking down the sidewalk oh, You pull back your head oh, I'm listening as you talk oh, Just glad I'm there oh. I really need to get dressed because I've still my pajamas and it's only 10 20 so it's not actually that bad I've been up for quite a while and I've just been like lazing around I've actually done a lot but I've just done everything in my pajamas which is totally fine but I need to get dressed now so dad took Emily's clothes home yesterday because I was wearing those as I said um but I accidentally kept Emily's hoodie here so it smells like home mm, smells like em um, well it smells like me but me and em smell the same I don't know what I'm talking about, but mm, I want to keep it here. Um, can I keep your hoodie, please? You won't have your hoodie for a while, because I'm still good here, and I might wear it today. This lighting from this window is so nice. I'm not putting makeup on. This is literally just some cocoa butter lip stuff. Whoa, now it's too bright. Whoa, the sun. The only time I'll ask you to go behind a cloud is now. <laughs> A good duty. You guys can see my little tripod right now. It's a moving tripod. We've got this little drawer thing that I just move around and I have some folders and books on top. <laughs> Works really well. Hashtag makeshift. So if you just clicked on this video and you haven't been to my channel before, 
hey i am a university student for those of you who don't know so i moved back to university yesterday very late last night and yeah my dad kept in my room and left very early this morning and so i'm just now here left to kind of sort everything out because i didn't get I got quite a bit done yesterday considering it was so late but I'm trying to sort out my room and put everything where I want it today by like lunchtime I hopefully want to have everything sorted so I need to get on a bit but in this video I wanted to talk a little bit just quickly about um, homesickness so I filmed a bit yesterday of me literally in tears and that is the reality of moving away from home. <laughs> I don't want to cry now because oh, I woke up this morning as well and my dad had left. He didn't wake me up, which I thought he was going to do, but he just kind of left to go to work, um, which is fine. But I didn't actually get to say goodbye to dad. I have got homesickness my whole life when I went away with schools and stuff I would always cry every evening I feel really sorry for the people I had to share rooms with but yeah I just basically cry and get very upset when I leave home <sighs> breathe if you've watched my videos since I kind of started my channel um you will know that I did a moving in video last year and I had videos from me actually starting as a fresher at university and what I failed to show you in those videos was the behind the scenes of settling in. I did not show you this. It was a whole lot worse last year because it was a whole new situation. I had never been to move to university. It was the first time doing it. I knew no one. I had no clue what it was going to be like. I remember filming a clip like this. I was in tears and I was speaking to the camera. I remember I had my phone at that point and I decided not to put that in the video because it was going to go in the freshest week one but I decided to leave it out because I wanted to keep it as positive as possible and show the freshest week in as good a light as possible but now I'm like maybe I should have left it in because maybe I wasn't being as real to the camera as I wanted to be and you know if you know me I always want to just be very real I am a very open book online I do show a lot of my stuff like I'm just in my PJs casually walking around my hair is just like this and I'm just like yeah that's me that's Holly I'm sorry now that I'm more used to filming and putting stuff online I feel like now is a good time to talk about everything that goes through that i go through and i feel that you guys can relate to i know that there will be some of you out there that have maybe gone to university or moved away from home or moved abroad or started work and have had to move somewhere away from home and you will be like this you will feel like me you will want to cry your eyes out and trust me that's okay you are allowed to cry <laughs> moving away from home is very hard for some people yes others just want to leave home but for some, like me, and I'm sure there are lots of you out there feeling the same way, it is horrible. Yeah, so as you can see, I get very homesick. I'm feeling quite homesick now. I need to blow my nose. It's so hard and I just want to go like this. Ooh, that was dark in there. Ooh. Whew. But on a more positive note, I've got a ton of stuff to do today and I just wanted to give you like two or maybe three, I don't know, that are really tips but they're things that I try and focus on and things that I have learnt over the past year about overcoming homesickness. Um, also I just wanted to say quickly, last year what I failed to say and actually talk explicitly about was the fact that I saw, not like a counselling service but the welfare team at my university specifically the college that i'm at and they <laughs> helped me a ton and i highly advise if you are feeling like this if you just want to cry if you're crying now it's okay try and find the welfare team or people that you can contact for help at your university i'm sure there will be someone if there isn't please like tell me and i will get on the phone to your university to tell them that they should have that service in place i was on the edge literally i was telling them like please just send me home i want to go home that's literally what i was telling them i was on the breaking point at that point in time and yes but they helped me get through it they really helped me and i'm still here i'm back for second year i must love it clearly if i've come back so 
yeah, let's just do this. Okay, so I need to make a to-do list for the next few days. Oh, okay. I need frozen fruit from Aldi. That is the most important thing I have to do right now. Of all the million things I've still got to do today. It don't matter when, don't matter why. Every day and night, baby, all the time. You're in my heart, you're on my mind. I don't even try. Okay, so my to do list is done. It's overwhelmingly long right now. It's Monday. But Mondays are supposed to be productive, hey? What I find, firstly, to take my mind off things is to keep yourself very, very busy. And that's what I'm gonna do now. Let's go clean the kitchen. So I'm just currently sorting out the kitchen stuff, trying to fit everything in here. Um, I just decided it was best to bring the whole box to the kitchen instead of walking back and forwards. And yeah, I'm trying to rearrange the shelves right now. This is the only way to do it. Uh, I don't think I can do it. All the other shops coming out right there. That is clearly in. Well, holy. I just can't do it. I can't get it out now. Oh my goodness. Can we just appreciate how good the lighting is at this spot for my little food photo shoots? Because you know I love taking pictures of food and making it look. Ready. So yeah, all my little cute food photos on my Instagram at Vegan Holiday. One minute I'm crying, one minute I'm so happy about food and lighting for pictures. I mean, it goes both ways really. Oh, and of course I always have to comment something about food. So this today was the perfect fit. Can you see that? So like the jammy texture inside is so dense. It just didn't square everywhere like that is the perfect fig and also these are hemp seeds as well as chia seeds i really like the taste of just hemp seeds i can just eat them on their own so i recommend and i brought garden apples with me from home um if you can just bring as much stuff as possible from home well everything you own is at home but bring as much stuff that reminds you of home as possible so for example my garden apples they're like rooted in the garden so that is like home this is getting a bit crazy, maybe a bit weird now, but I don't know, bringing apples from home just like that have grown in my garden, like look at this redness. So we're just off out now to go to Aldi to get some frozen fruit because that was top of my list and I need to get that done today um, so I can actually make some smoothies. All the chia seeds are stuck in my teeth. And I also need to get some hand wash because I thought I'd pack like two of them, but I don't have any, so I need to get some hand wash. Got Mr. Freddy, first time on the bike again, and it's gonna feel so weird in comparison to my other bike. Surprise visit from Dad. We've come to ZZ's because I love ZZ's. bring your cats with you you just have to make friends with the ones in college i think this is avocado we're having a little staring contest because he saw me or she i'm just gonna be going to bed nice and early it's just gone 9 30 coming up to 10 o'clock i'm starting a fresh year trying to set some really um healthy habits in particular with a good routine in terms of timing so when i get up and when i go to bed nothing better than an ice cold glass oh dad's calling me dad hey darling hey dad fresh from the freezer let's try it. it's almond milk my fave oh my gosh that tastes so good 
so i get really dry hands like all the time but it seems to have just suddenly gotten worse like i swear the day i moved here my hands got so dry they were aching they were cracking i've got like cuts all over this hand well my hands are basically already cracking so i am wearing gloves according to my hands it's winter because they're dry and chapped like it's dry hands associated with like stress or moving away or homesickness i don't know but it just seems that on the day that i moved here my hands got so so dry and i was like why why i just got back from dance first dance class since i've been back and um, first dance class in a while actually which was really good um so i am just currently stretching out my muscles and i do not want to be aching tomorrow so uh my last video actually was mm, a vlog that had my stretch routine in it so if you're interested in what i do pretty much every time to stretch out it's my go-to stretch out routine i will link it somewhere here I'll give you all my love So doing a bit of light limbering to get back into things. You are the one I love, yeah, you are the one I love. You are the one I love, yeah, you are the one I love. So for me, I just find that the sooner I can get back into a routine, which I know, the sooner I can get back into that and start getting on with things, the better I find. It takes my mind off things, like home especially. Oh, look at that. Straight back into split. Let's get back into this. It's as simple as that. You are the one I love. Yeah, you are the one I love. I am just gonna call mum because I haven't spoken to her all day as well. So hopefully she answers. Oh, hey, hey, dude. Mutti, hey mom. So I'm just literally about to dig into my big bowl of food. The bowls are back. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I have no clue how long it is. I reckon it's gonna be too long. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I wanted it to be something that was very real and down to earth, just showing you exactly how I feel. My main piece of advice is just to keep yourself busy and to speak to people at home. Um, so that you have daily contact with them. I speak to my family every single day without failure pretty much And I was just gonna say I feel that my room this year is too good not to show you guys So I have seriously considered doing a room tour video so I'm gonna say if this video Gets I don't know how many to say like I've never done this maybe like let's just say a thousand likes if this video gets a thousand likes I will do um a room tour video so hit that like button and comment down below i will speak to you in the meantime on social media other than youtube i will speak to you next sunday guys bye